So, hmm? Huh? What are you doing with the broom? Taking the thanks for off? your thanks for your input. Is there like a tick? Can you can you combine? Yeah, probably. Huh? What if I wrap the toilet paper around the broom? Broom wrapped in toilet paper, sweet accessory, accessory, the bro. Fucking name of the item. Broom wrapped in toilet paper. Yeah. What does it say? Oh, so you wrap the toilet paper around the broom, huh? Looks like the symbols line up perfectly. It says 634 plus. Plus what? I feel like it'd be pretty easy to solve this kind of riddle without having the broom, because you just tear off every single square of toilet paper that has a symbol on it, then line them up. And then you don't need, you don't need a broom. Shut your whore mouth! Ba, 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 ba. Actually, if you're smart about it, you'd make it so that the two things align, uh, oh, like they overlap each other. Like there's different ways for the symbols to align, yeah. to match up. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Look at this thing spin. Look at it go. I forgot what the code said. Six three four plus. Okay. That's the code to the door. Obviously. Bucket. Bucket. You just took it. Yeah, I got a bucket now. Sure. Texture. <laughs> By the way, I, I looked at the DS version of this game for a bit. Uh, boy oh boy, these were the tiniest items. Like, you, like, you can see the texture like, that they have in this. Like, I don't know if they remastered them or made them higher res or not, or if they just used the original one, because it's, it's believable based on how low res they are that they'd be the originals. But, man, if this is what they used in the original version, they sure didn't need that resolution, because the DS does not, cannot see any of this detail. <laughs> I think they even have like heavy like outlining on everything to try to make it see even visible what you're looking at because like oh the like the black a, lines it's a around tiny it. ass screen yeah <laughs> toilet uh okay excuse me someone peeing blue over here did somebody ink themselves what do you think this is it looks like tar it's kind of sticky I don't think we can just wipe it off. I don't just pouring some water on it's gonna help much either. What about hot water? Hot water? If we had some really hot water, like boiling hot, then maybe that would wash it off. Well, gotta find some hot water. Gotta find There's some kind it of weird all. stain in a toilet bowl. It's a water tank for the toilet. I've seen a lot of OC guys try and hide a piece in something like this. Usually for a 187 or something. Guess they think it's clever. Uh, don't know when, they f uh, when they'll figure out everybody else thinks it's clever too. That's auto-scrolling. I think you're just screwed if you don't read it fast enough. <laughs> like it just leaves you. No, you can like, press fly. the... You can press up. Oh right, I can probably do up on the... Or not up. I can probably bring up novel mode when I'm out of the screen, I guess. Yeah. Huh? I mean, I know peace, but what's OC? Original character, come on, Santa. <laughs> OC, do not steal. <laughs> Sanic the Harge Horg. It's <laughs> <laughs> like you're having a hemorrhage at that point. It's like, Sanic the Horg Horg. Organized crime. What is that? Some kind of police slang? Slang? Huh? <laughs> Why would it be slang? How would an organized crime division be slang? Well, OC. I guess. That's OC a, would be slang. That's not even fucking slang, that's just an abbreviation. Well, depends on how you use it. Slang is when that one guy at the cigarette store told you that he was nicking hard when he needed a cigarette. <laughs> that's slang. That's- uh, no, that's abonics. You keep that's, making them that's up. That's slang. No, abonics isn't slang. Only abonics is slang. No, that's racist. It's literally just, that's what slang means. No. That's, a, that's absolutely slang, what slang means. Slang is just when you say a word and it's not actually, you're not actually speaking the correct way. Like you're not, you're not using it. You're <laughs> like not, when you're nicking hard? <laughs> no, that's abonics. It's different. Abonics is an actual language. <laughs> Fight in the comments. <laughs> Fight till there's blood. <laughs> until there's nicks. <laughs> uh, probably. Someone's gonna misinterpret that as us saying a very different word. <laughs> That's gonna be really unfortunate. Huh? 
What I uh, what did I say? <laughs> Why is he like all sad now? <laughs> is he nicking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Keith. He might be nicking hard. To be clear, we're talking about a word that is a reference to nicotine in cigarettes. Which, we didn't, we which didn't, was a learning experience when I heard no it. There's no G in there at all. Why would anybody get confused? <laughs> People's ears are stupid. We're saying Nick, like Nickelodeon, you stupid. Nick, 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 and Nick, and really hard. <laughs> That's, when that's... people want to be offended, their ears get really stupid. <laughs> You're saying racist words. It's not really important right now, guys. Let's just check it out, alright? Well, he's not wasting any time. That's a screwdriver. T oh, okay. Hi. If only something was screwed in! <laughs> I don't think I've ran into that yet. The toilet's tank. There's nothing in it. Which means we can't flush it. Kinda hard to flush a toilet without water. Says you. I was so surprised when I found out how toilets worked. <laughs> what? I did not realize, at, at, like, for a very long time, I just assumed that, uh, toilets just had, like, a pump. And it just pumped the water, and that's how flushing worked. So it was, it was a while before I realized that the toilet tank is literally full of water that drains into the toilet chamber and, like, shit like that, like... I mean, so it's it still does what you say. Yeah. It just pumps the water into the tank instead, holds yeah. it there, and then when you're ready, it goes. The function of the tank is, is it was surprising for me. We had a broken valve in one of our toilets where it would just, it would pump water forever. We just continually pump water forever. <laughs> forever? Which means it would slowly keep trying to go back in the toilet, which would then slowly drain, and the toilet would just be, like, functionally, it would just never stop functioning. Oh, I'm would, sure oh, your parents love that water would, bill. Yeah. <laughs> We had, we'd have to turn off the toilet periodically to reset it, basically. We'd, oh, you had to, like, turn the, ni uh, the, we had to, like, the knob plug, in the behind it, it? It was, like, unplugging it and plugging it back in, but for toilets. <laughs> for, for turlets. There's some toilet paper on the shelf. Radical. Radical. Well, it's stall number two. Ew. <laughs> it's already open. Why is this... It's all... It, why is the dirt start... Stop right there? Uh, because it's water in there. There's nothing in the toilet. If there was, that would be gross. You look also angry about that. <laughs> there might be something in the tank, you know. Let's open that shit up. Open that shit up. Oh, red card. Oh, that was that was an easy one. <laughs> it's just sitting there in the open. Are all of them in the toilet? No, we found the blue one. What I'm saying is like everything we need in the toilets. Maybe let's check every toilet. That's literally two things already the we found. The, the tank where the red card was. Nothing here now except water. You can flush this toilet! You can. You can flush- how do you flush it? You can't. Is there like a pull thing? Not from where you're standing. How do these flush? They're on the- it's on the right side. Oh, there it is. E. It's gonna go to the tank. <laughs> like, e. 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 Skinny shelf. <laughs> what? That's racist. I like how they have a different description for every shelf. Alright, more stalls. Uh, I already checked all three toilets, you know. Nothing unusual there. Oh, we just got the three that happen to have everything in there? Yeah, they're all on the side of the room with the close camera angle. The far camera angle, it can't be shit in there, it's impossible. If only there was something that was screwed in. I said screwed in. Or I guess it didn't work. You know why thermometers only go up to 107 degrees Fahrenheit? Uh, it says Celsius. Is that the thermometer says Celsius, is not that, Fahrenheit? Is that is Celsius? this localization? <laughs> are, do you think the, the, the audiences of the, the Americas are too stupid for the to say Celsius? Do you think we not think Celsius but, exists? Like they must think that we're we're not using we can't handle Fahrenheit. Uh, we can't handle Celsius, but we also won't notice that like also, this thing does not go up to the number he's saying. Also, that's not true. Yeah. Oh well. Thermostats go higher than 107. Thermostats do, but I don't know about thermometers. Thermometers? I don't think the mercury allows I haven't for it. encountered a thermometer since I was like four. So I don't know when they stop. <laughs> but maybe they do stop at 107, but it probably has to do with less with anything he's about to say and more probably like... It's probably just a limitation of the measuring device. I think it's just a limitation of the whatever is used to judge the... Limitation yeah. of the measuring yeah, device. The measuring yeah, device. like... Uh, Whenever you're measuring anything, you learn about a lot of this during like physics courses and stuff like that. Is you you hear you hear about like the actual mechanic that's inside of measuring devices that tell that causes them to be able to do what they do. 
and they almost always have a specific range where they're actually accurate. And when you go beyond that range, they're just not accurate anymore. That's usually the real reason why something stops measuring at a certain point. Kind of like how you're, uh, you're, you have a floor scale, remember? Yeah. And that floor scale, if you put a minimum weight on it, it won't even recognize it. And you can max out the weight on your floor scale. So like every everything that measures like weight or temperature has like a certain scale where it's actually like useful. And and things beyond if you go beyond that scale above or below, you usually need a different device for that that's specialized for that kind of range. Huh. And so a thermos a thermometer is literally a liquid that changes mat uh, that changes volume based on temperature, and that's why it fills up and then unfills a th uh, thermometer. And so like. It need, it'll only be useful for a certain range because it can only expand and, and change shape so much because eventually a liquid will either solidify or evaporate and stuff like that. Not if it's mercury. Mercury can evaporate and solidify. Not if it's in a thermometer. No, probably not. Because the thermometer would probably like, shatter first if it was at such temperatures that it could, uh, that it could uh, evaporate. Yes. The glass is probably going to not, uh, not survive that condition. <laughs> Also a good example of a maximum temperature that the that the device is not designed for <laughs> when it <laughs> ceases to exist. <laughs> like uh, I guess this guess this car wasn't designed to go 300 miles per hour into a wall cuz my car <laughs> ceased to exist. <laughs> it's not wrong cuz like a thermometer will eventually be destroyed by a certain temperature, but we probably have devices designed to measure those temperatures. <laughs> it's true. What a never-ending cycle of shit. Like, yeah. just give us one thing to rule So he better all. say exactly what I just said or he's wrong. <laughs> no pressure, Santa, a fictional character that I'm, was designed ten years I'm ago gonna or guess, something. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess it's because Zero didn't let them program to be that tall. That <laughs> and I'm Zero, and I know everything. Wouldn't it be, why, why don't thermometers only go up to 109 degrees? That yes. makes more sense. Magic. Because 109 would be 9. <laughs> But a hundred and eight would have a di would have a digital root of nine. Oh my god, you're oh right. Oh my god, that would be even smarter. Why didn't you go the one extra step? Because <laughs> they're Celsius. It's clearly a Celsius thermometer. What's seventy five? No, I, I can't say I ever thought about that. It's twelve. It doesn't work. No, twelve is three. Santa. <laughs> oh my god, it's oh. the Santa thermometer. My god, it's crazy. It's saying the Santa's open. <laughs> well, no, it's currently at 20 Celsius right now. Or open. So we're actually saying it's saying that Santa's open. <laughs> oh, no. open. Open. I don't know what that means. At 107 degrees, the cells in the human body start to die. Excuse me, what? To shut down. The proteins Wait. in your cells start to harden. Is he talking like if your core body temperature is 107 yeah, or yeah. like 107? Well, well, the, the cells have to be that temperature, so it's your core temperature. Oh. Because obviously you can be in out a higher temperature than that. Because we've both been to like Death Valley and shit. Yeah. Where it's it were, like I I did a whole day. Actually, it was a few days at a. Uh, this, this isn't a thermometer. No, it's not. Well, Mike has a thermometer, technically. But well, no, it's a. Well, maybe, but you can't put it in your mouth. Yeah, this thing's not digital, but this thing might do the thing where but like this isn't telling body temperature. This, this is yeah. only telling no. Room he's just he's just randomly vamping about this thing that seems not particularly related to the thing we're looking at right now. But, uh, yeah, this is a room temperature thing, so it doesn't- it's not related. Also but, can't- But yeah, like, I went to Rainbow Basin for geology trips, and, uh, like, a few people got heat stroke because we were, uh, we were doing- I don't uh, know, in Death Valley! We were doing surveying at, like, 115 degrees, <laughs> so people had, like, we had, like, emergency drives to Barstow for a few people where they all had to be taken to a hospital and given fluids and stuff like that. Taken to they, a hospital? Jesus Christ! Yeah. You didn't bring anybody who knew how to do IVs? Barstow, the city that Kill Bill 2 took place in, where they kill Snake Guy. The, sh the shotgun man. I mean, you just... Why didn't you just bring a bag of IV? Why didn't they just fucking bring the water everyone told them to bring? It's their fault. Oh, they didn't bring any water? They're people that like, I have a bottle of water. I'm like, you fuck. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> Wait, why would you... Like, everyone else was like, everyone else had like water bladders of like the thing in your in your backpack. Yeah. That has like a fucking like six liters of water and a tube sticking out. And like everyone's... <laughs> Yeah, everyone's prepped with that. Like, thing. I'm going to fucking Disneyland for a week, it's gonna be an intense week. Yeah, everyone's got their, like, mouth tubes that lets them drink out of their backpack and stuff like that without put it, without having to go through it and shit. And they're like, I got a bottle of water, I'm like, you're gonna die. <laughs> this is how you die here. <laughs> Hope you really want that aid. Oh, I think those are called, like, camel packs, right? Yeah, they're great. 
Yeah. Those things are great. Those got me through like months of fucking surveying. I, I tried it once and I, I like I instantly wasn't pleased with it because you can't like it's not really good for soda. No, no. What we would do is eventually we would just were like re we were just uh, resigned to the idea that we were going to ruin them. So we like we started mixing Gatorade powder in. But it helps you. It helps you in the heat to have like the to have that kind well, of stuff. Yeah, in but it. like. So we mix Gatorade uh, powder. Like the powder in. gets stuck inside of the tubing. That well, you don't put too much of it in it because you put the. Uh, because first of all, there's a nozzle in the first place. Like it doesn't go through the tube itself unless you're unless you're applying suction to it. So it's gonna stay in the main bladder until then. Well, no, I know that. So I'm saying when the, it comes out. Yeah, you take the thing and you add. Uh, you would take the water and you mix in the Gatorade powder and you just shake it a lot. You wouldn't t put too much in because you don't want it to start settling back into powder and stuff like that. And then that would pretty much last the day. Uh, part of what helped is that it's so hot that the higher energy level that the water is being kept in because everything's hot all the time helps avoid the Gatorade uh, undissolving. Because it does that. In, it would do that. In, it's more like to do that. In colder, uh, did in you colder have like warm heat. Gatorade? Kind of, yeah. Uh. It, it was warm, but it was colder than the outside, so it felt cold still. But it's it would be warm for us here at your house. That's weird. It's that's just how relative temperature works. I mean, this is not. It was this, cold compared to 110 degrees outside. Like this Gatorade because it was inside a backpack. What? Let me see. <laughs> Why are you you're holding Gatorade right now to test its temperature? Yeah, this Gatorade is like currently not. But like we had a. It's not cold enough. To we be. had solutions devised where every weekend or so we could figure. We had ways of like filtering out and cleaning out the stuff again to like reset its status. Vodka. It's like it's like clearing out. There's a, a lot of vodka. It's like it's like cleaning a Keurig. We had to eventually clean out because you've been filtering water, th uh, coffee through it for months and shit. It's like when you hard boil an egg, even if you cool it down afterwards. What the fuck is he talking walk. about? Hard boiling an egg is nothing like killing an IKEA egg. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew is completely aware of where the conversation is in the game. <laughs> so to recap, uh, they're talking about what happens to your cells if you raise them to too high yeah. of a temperature. Which is why, that's the whole reason why you check your fever. Did you just use like an that. example of like, if you cook something, you can't uncook something? Yeah. <laughs> like, no duh, you stupid in shit. Words, <laughs> it's dead. That's why thermometers well, okay. go past 107. Tomate. An egg is already dead the moment you well, open no, the shell. No, no, he's making a he's making like a pro life argument about eggs, where like they're it's like that you can't mess with any of them because they're all lives, and that you're making them dead by doing anything with them. But if you like, no, they're, either you hard boil an egg. They're like he's like it was a life, but it's not. <laughs> Like I could buy bi like <laughs> bi biologically, it's not a life. It's an empty, unfertilized egg. Yeah. People, people get iffy about people like donating eggs, though. Like if you donate your your like unfertilized eggs of like humans to research, then they freak out about that too. But there's nothing in the egg. Yeah. It's just a vessel. It's literally the counterpart to sperm. Sperm is the life. It it does move. The sperm <laughs> is the living it's one. Spooky. It's alive. The egg is just the catalyst. The egg is just like you. Okay, you put the sperm in there, and then together you combine. But the sperm is what's living. We're having the weirdest tangents right now. <laughs> People are oh, stupid. Yeah. Stop caring about shit. Go on with your life. <laughs> to get that like... high. Even viruses and stuff don't usually drive the body temperature up to 107. I mean, unless you get a really edgy one. There are other external things that could. Got infected by the edgelord virus. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> I want to die. Ugh, and just like blows your body up. External things that raise your temperature to 107. What, like fire? <laughs> what? Well, let's see. Something like getting locked in a sauna, or getting thrown into an incinerator <laughs> to death. <laughs> All right, fam. What? If you what are these tangents? These people go on. If you're getting thrown into an incinerator, you don't have a thermometer in your mouth. Like you don't. You d like if you're an incinerator, you're not checking how hot you are. You're not like, oh, let me check. No, I can't check because the thermometer's literally breaking. Thermometers don't go to 107 Fahrenheit because if you're in an incinerator, then it doesn't matter if you're sick. <laughs> that's what <laughs> it, that's... This is up there with like when Lotus is like, I don't know, I was just making up something to talk about while I was bored. <laughs> if you put a raw egg in an incinerator, it will never become sick enough to be 107 and break uh. a thermometer. Could we just take the fucking thermometer off the wall? <laughs> like... <laughs> I love these tangents so much. <laughs> we just have a thermometer. It's like Santa's yeah, the biggest I gate. That would get a little hotter than 107 degrees Fahrenheit. 
All right, I got it. Thank you. <laughs> All right, silly Santa. Sure is funny how we talked about incinerating people. Oh wait, this guy's talking about incinerating bodies after he was just mad about how we betrayed a bunch of women. Um. Oh no, was Santa, that, was that is an idle, Was it like an idle threat? Is Santa the stabby man? Like, is was he like giving you a threat where he's like, do you know why thermostats don't go to 107? And you're like, what? Uh, is this, what? Are you threatening that you're gonna make me higher than 107 and I can't check my temperature? <laughs> it's like, do you know what it sounds like when a toad gets struck by lightning? <laughs> no, but please don't. <laughs> when a toad gets struck in an incinerator, the same thing that happens to everything else. <laughs> Nothing. Forget about it. What was that all about? Probably the two people you doomed to die, but we've forgotten about because we're too be distracted by Snake's corpse. Man. This is a very eventful arc, by the way. I wonder... I wonder if you, like, can... Wait, how old... Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. I wonder what this is for. Put it in the bucket, you stupid. Put it in the bucket? Oh. Yeah. He took... You. Oh. Oh, you took the thermometer off. It says open at the bottom of the gauge. Oh, is it open or does it open? Sure. I wonder what it means. Maybe when it gets that hot, something will open? It's a lock? Yeah, uh, so just put it in the fucking bucket. So we have to open it by putting it in there, apparently. Okay. I think it's... Yeah, I think it is supposed to say open, but they drew it on such a low-resolution thing originally. It's uh, that open. They probably so they they probably was originally it probably said open originally like like a proper N, and when they lo did it low res DS style like it was unreadable, so they made it a straight horizontal line because it made it look closer to being an N in the low res version. Mm. That's probably what happened. So I guess it's gonna open if it's hot. So let's mix it with the uh, oops. Let's mix you with the bucket. Nope. No. Oh, you probably have to just fill need, the bucket with water. Need first. to find hot first. So shower, right? Are you hot? Yeah. If I can get this hot water in the thermometer on the thermometer, then maybe. All right, thermometer, let's get this party started. No, please, Junpei. I don't want to end up dead like all the other women in your life. We just burned to death. Yep, looks like that's doing the trick. There goes the gauge. And now it's up at the open mark. And now it's a pocket watch. Huh? Huh. It opened. What's this? It looks like there's a piece of paper in here. Nine, five, seven, plus! Didn't we have another code earlier that's different? Yeah. What do they mean? Add them up, you stupid, and do that's we, the code. We add them up and get the dirge to our... <laughs> Oh yeah, they're both three-digit numbers, huh? Yeah. So you add them up and get a four-digit number for the solution. So nine, five, seven, okay. Oh. Nine, five, seven, plus. That means you're supposed to add something to nine, pl uh, nine, five, seven, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. The problem is what to add. So here's... Do you remember where the other code was? It's on the broomstick. Broom... Oh, right, the broomstick. So combine them. We've been through... We've been through, we've been through a lot today. <laughs> 634. Toilet paper. Combine. No. Nope, we just have to add them manually. Oh, well, fuck you. So it's 634... 634957. Okay. Boo -boo -boo -boo, six, oh yeah, we have a calculator. Three, four, plus... Is it nine, five, seven? Yes. Seven... Click. Fifteen, ninety-one! Cool. Now we just need the blue card. Fifth... You gotta get the cards. Nothing happens when I press these buttons. Well, it looks like the power's on. I'm wondering what the deal is with those things that say locked up there, though. So, was it 1597? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to remember that. 1597, yeah. I think we have to do something else before it get, let's, uh, gonna let us get the password. Maybe we have to disable those two things that say lock first, you know? That's why I switched the red card. I have to click right here? Yes. Yep. The red light's on, Jumpy! Let's go get Hooray. the second blue card. Which we know is down here. But oh, uh, we need water first. Broom bucket. So put, the, put the bucket under the shower. Why would we do that? Dude, trust me. Oh, so that we can like make it flood it out more so it comes out? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. 
Oh, we're gonna put it in the toilet, right? Yeah. The hot water. Maybe we can use the shower here to fill the bucket with hot water. Hey, uh, hey, Seven. Can you turn on the shower? I'm gonna put the bucket under the head. Oh, okay. Uh, sure thing. Murderer. You mean this isn't a microphone? <laughs> we got it. Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> oh my god. I just dumped it. Physics! It's like Snake Eater. Like the physics actually applies to the game. That would be very upsetting. No, what are you doing? What? Something looks like tar inside this toilet bowl. If I flush the ho the hot water from the bucket, that should clean it up. Yeah, so put it in the bowl. Or put it in the tank. Why? Because then when you press flush, it'll flush it. Like it'll... But why wouldn't I just pour it? <laughs> because when you flush it, it spins water! It's actually flushing, it's cleaning it. What if you just pour water on it, it's just gonna get it's, one mark. I, it's the same thing. It's no, the same your face thing. isn't the same. Do it. In fact, running it through the tubing just makes it cool down more. No, it doesn't. It goes straight yes, it to the does. fucking bowl. Alright, so I'll just pour the hot water into the tank and... Looks like you filled it. Now you should be able to flush it, right? There's probably a handle somewhere on the tank that you can pull. You think so? Serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's what toilets are. I'm an adult. I've flushed a lot of I toilets. I am an adult. Boiling, Jesus, boiling water now. Okay. All I gotta do is pull the handle. Which is... Here? Dun 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 dun. dun Alright, let's dun, flush dun, the hot dun. water. Well, there it goes. Why is the toilet seat down? Just like a toilet should work. Well, we don't want to have boiling water splash on us. Don't stand so close. Also, to we don't want to animate water flushing. <laughs> That's more like it. One eight five equals. Wait, what? Uh oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, I get it. Mm -mm. So you need to add both of those numbers to this one, and then those equal a number. Oh, the, oh, right, because it's, it's this number plus this number e uh, equals this. Okay. I, th for, for a second, I thought there was for, like it was supposed to be equal to this, and I'm like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> so we add 185. Okay. So... Time. So 185. Well, wait, we still need the blue 54. card. Let's just wait until we get the blue card. We gotta know the number, or we're for good or... Well, yeah, but if we get the blue card, then we just swipe it, and then we can go check out the numbers. Grab it, you little shit. There must be water flowing through, uh, flowing through the pipe on the right. There's water pouring out from the drain. Wait, what? Yeah, you didn't do that last time. You, you clicked on the card. Fucking... F it's a Lotus card. <laughs> the, uh... Wow. <laughs> the fact that he didn't just grab it last time is kind of absurd. Okay. Blue key card! Ha ha! Da -na -na -na. So, do -do -do. swipe it. So was it 1597? Oh, great job, <laughs> Jumpy! Sorry, I was trying to do math. Well, the lights are on now. Now we just need to put in the password. Why would you be trying to do math? We have the numbers. Well, no, because we had the 957. Yeah. Plus 634. 957, and what was the other one? 185. Okay. 634, right? So, so 634. 634 plus. Is it 987? No, 987. Nine, 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 or 985? Uh, damn it. Do you have paper? <laughs> uh, yeah. Somewhere. Where's my phone? Don't you have a phone? Well, I, I just need somebody to write. I just, the, I just need the fucking numbers written down. Don't use the calculator. Just write down the numbers I'm not, so we I'm can just, type it in here. I'm just writing it down. Yeah. Shit. Because we can just show it on the screen for the audience. But yeah, it's I know. hard to remember if so what nine is it? digits in a row. Nine, five, seven. Yes. And what is the other one? Go down, please. Go down. There we go. Six, three, four. Six, three, four. And then the last one is one, eight, five, I think. Yep, one, one eight, five. five. All right. All right, there you go. So, so one, eight, five, plus nine, five, seven. Nine, five, seven. And six, three, four. Six, three, four. 
1776, which is probably like the year the Titanic sank or something, because jo ah, whoa, meta. Meta narrative. Both lights are on. We should be able to enter the password now. What's with these E and C keys? Really? E, C, uh, e means enter and C means clear, I think. So after you put in the password, hit E. You guys are just gonna make me fucking forget the password I just calculated. If you screw it up, hit C. They're really afraid you're not gonna understand how a calculator works. Weird. Oh my god, let me just click on it. <laughs> there, there we go. Um, E. Right. We've opened the door now. So I guess we gotta back out. We're amazing and, and we did it because we're amazing. We must escape, ooh. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you found it. I found the door. It you... was there. Hooray. That, that would be really stupid. Let's take a look. Like, what if that screen came up every time you found the dead? You found it. <laughs> oh, no. Not Snake. What are you doing, Seven? Well, I figure maybe we might want to come back here sometime. Wait, so, did he just do the, the same the fucking trick again? No, this time he used a broom. Right, it's different. Let's go. Why is- why is he, like, leaving every door open? Is Isn't this that, man, like, the smartest thing you can do? Is this dude, like, a fucking genius? Yeah. Basically. He's basically a genius. Like, how co- how is no one else thinking about that? Like, every, every, everyone should be thinking that all the time to lock- make every door be forced open in case you ever need to go back. What if you fucking are, like, your life depends on the fact that you've been locked in a room at some point? Like, that would suck. I mean, it's not like you can go anywhere from that room, though. No, but you might have access to something you need. Yeah. It's a smart thing. I guess it's like his cop instincts. Jumpy, look! What's it's up? a door. What's that on the wall there? Oh, I, I think it's... What? Junpei ran over and peeled it off. Oh, it's map just a map, never mind. Interior? Never mind, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, I thought we already had this! Another one. It's another floor's map. No, it's... We got a map in the fucking kitchen area! Did we? Not the kitchen area, but the one before the kitchen area. I'm pretty sure we never got a map of this floor until after we got here, because the whole point was that's when we revealed that you're just gonna get- end up going back towards the, uh... No, when we took the first route, the first time we played, we didn't get a map until we were in that science room. On this route, or on the route where we stay with June, we get a map in the fucking first time when we go with her. There's literally a picture on the wall in one of the that's rooms. That's a different floor. No, that's the same floor! No, it's not. Yeah, it is! No. You can pull up- No, 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 no. We- we got a- we got a 4 or 5 map, and then we got a map of 7, uh, 7, 8, 3. Cause when I you thought do it's seven, all on the same you, floor. No, no, it's not the same floor. But also, when you- when you do 7, 8, 3, the whole point is they don't know where it's gonna go. Then you get to the point where it all turns back and you get to save Ace anyway, and you find that out because you found the map that's like, Oh, it goes back to Ace! That's what the other door does! This was the whole reveal last time. That's absolutely what it is. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing crazy about this, it just feels familiar because we're replaying branches and stuff. <laughs> it says C deck. So it's the map for this floor, then. We'll have time to study it later. Let's keep going for now. Uh, no, l let's look at it right now. <laughs> like, knowing where we're going is like the most important no, thing what? ever. Well, we have to do the next puzzle room though, because there's always pairs. I so, guess. So we have to do the next one before we can go anywhere, and then we can figure out where to go. There's not a second puzzle though. What there's the not? No. Remember, oh, the lab shit. didn't have a second puzzle. We are back. Oh, there we are. Yeah. So we didn't even look at the map to see what was going to happen. That's what I'm saying! <laughs> that is funny. They're like a surprise. Over! Lotus! <gasps> and Ace! I'm glad you're all okay. Lotus immediately oh, runs Lotus. over and cold cocks fucking what Junpei. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should. Oh. How could you do this to us? Well, there she you go. She did. <laughs> she did do that. Uh, full disclosure, we have never seen this route. Uh, she is just that predictable. <laughs> I mean, it's just consistent character writing. She should. <laughs> she should punch him. What the fuck? Actually, Ace. Should. What the fuck, Junpei? Ace might not be conscious yet. And yeah, he is. Knock it off. We got bigger shit to worry about right Dang, now. Dang, seven. What? Go have a look. Um. I stuck the screwdriver in the door. No, the you door stuck a there, broom. One without a number. 
Oh. No, the broom was She's the trap. She's sticking shit in yeah. every goddamn door. Well, that, that was what the items we had from the last puzzle. Apparently, he was picking them all up when we used them. <laughs> so he has a broom, and he has a screwdriver, and he's sticking them all in different doors. <laughs> I'm imagining Junpei, like, we open the doors, like, oh, we finished Junpei's this room. Like, and he just yeah. throws shit on the ground. Yeah, Junpei's like, well, it. I unscrewed one object with a screwdriver. I better throw it away. And he's like, <laughs> throws it over his shoulder. He's like, hey, and he's like, I got pockets. <laughs> and, and Seven's just like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep, I keep calling him Ace. God damn it. There's so many names. As long as the screwdriver's there, he can't shut. So you can get in there. Also, way to go, Zero. Fucking think about There's that. A shower room past there. I stuck a broom at the door there too. Okay, are you gonna tell her what's there? Like, don't fucking just tell them. To anyway, go. go take a look. Oh. Like Clover's going with her. You're not gonna be fucking at least a little bit human about it and be like, B -b 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 like, let me just warn you. Uh, there is a dead body, but you know, like, just be calm about oh, it. Oh no. Then you're saying we can go in there without passing through the numbered door? Yeah, it's about the size of it. Wait, what the hell is in there? You'll know when you see it. That's fucked up! Oh god, that's really fucked up. But also, maybe push one of these giant beds into that door so it definitely doesn't close. Well, if, if they take the screwdriver out go through it, then they can come back through again. And then put the no, screwdriver through. I just mean like the screwdriver could so easily get dislodged and then they, the door is just closed. Oh. But like, shove one of these big-ass beds in one of the doors and then it's like really propped open. Or not even the bed, just put like the fucking dinner tray over there. Yeah, just anything better than a... Like, a, a dinner, dinner tray a din is at least flat, stable, like, and it will never, like, slip out. Or a dinner cart, or even, like, anything bigger than a screw... I'm so nervous about a tiny screwdriver getting knocked out. It's an anime, it'll be fine. It's an anime, it's plain. Um... Fine, let's go. Oh, okay, at least give My Clover goodness. some warning. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Should I go as well? Yeah, very well. No. As we wait. And then Clover freaks out and kills Lotus and Ace and like, no. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. Well that was it's pretty quick. straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. I mean we were immediately back on track now. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open. Yeah, because we we've already watched this. This was in our this was in our playthrough. Yeah, but somehow this is gonna force us into the dead end, right? So we need to see how that's gonna happen. Is it? Check the fucking log. God damn it, where's- which one is it? Yeah. It's gonna force us to a death. Like, we're gonna lose. Well, we're just gonna go straight into an escape room. Yeah, but that's the one- that's the escape room where we've already chosen the failing path. How the fuck path. are we getting straight to an escape room from here? That's a good question. Cause we don't even go through the door then? That's why we're gonna keep watching. That's why we're gonna keep watching to see how it gets there. Because okay. I'm imagining something happens here. Like, maybe everybody... Oh, because we have the card key. I'm imagining that everyone... That's what it is. Oh, yeah, we can... Or oh. We have that card key now. It might be that everybody besides Junpei is like... They go they split off to do the other two doors, because they need to do all the doors. But then Junpei, maybe, maybe June and Junpei go off to go, like, try the other thing or something. The elevator? Like, we might try... Yeah, we might that's try what to it use is. the card. That's yeah. the key card for the elevator. Yeah, because we have the... L the, uh... Oh no, no it's not. Was it Venus? The, no, the elevator was the H. Mercury? I don't know, whatever, let's just do it. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. That still wouldn't kill him though. Nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Fortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then, 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. I feel like, so we've had the same conversation last time, right? But we never questioned any further? Well, be Like, about the fact that, like, about half of us have to have been the people that killed Snake? Well, uh, also, we did the or math. Of us. We, like, did the math based on who- Because remember, we also found- the body was also found while we were busy searching the other room. 
Yeah, who did we decide had to kill Snake? We decided it had to be Ace and Santa and Snake. That's a weird group. Ace, Santa, and Snake. Wait, that, that doesn't sound right for some reason. Santa's three, right? One, two, Snake, three? One, two, three? Yeah, that, that, that's not it. That's six. Oh, wait. No, it was seven. It had to be two numbers that add up to nine and Snake. Was it, wait, Lotus, Ace, and Snake? Oh wait, I was thinking of two numbers that add up to nine and I think, th I think that'd it was, be if it was Santa. I think it was seven ace and snake. Right? That's no, it's uh two numbers that add up to ten plus snake. Seven. Because that'd be that'd oh, be so, that'd, so it would be Snake is two, twelve it makes three. So it needs to be two numbers that add up to ten, so it'd have to be like Clover <laughs> Clover and June. Well, I thought we had to deduct that it was like Ace had to have been part of the the crime, because that's why he stayed back. If it, um, no. It, if it was Ace, it would have to be Ace and Nine. Or Seven, or, wait, Santa? This is the only way that Ace did it. Is that if, if it was Ace and Nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, yeah because, yeah, because right, he had right. his fucking... We talked about the idea of, like, what if he, what if he, he used the, the bracelet, yeah. Took the bracelet. Yeah, because Ace was knocked out, or... What if he and now that somehow... we can't tell what number and what if Ace knocked himself out so he didn't give a tell on what happened? Like, oh, I'm unconscious. This is my alibi. When you guys find the body, yeah, yeah, it could almost could be like Ace did something really sketchy. It'd be a, be a bummer because why why you betray us, Battle? <laughs> no, uh, other combination would be a three and seven. Seven is oh yeah, seven and Santa. Yeah, I was like seven is. Seven. I Which, find myself I mean, saying that all the time. And, yeah, <laughs> I get like the quote from the beginning of the game. And they're, uh, and they're they they went to the opposite door of us, because remember we went with Lotus and Clover. So it was June, Santa, and uh, Seven. Yeah. Who went into the other door, and then the body was found. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way because the configurations change. No, no. We, we also pick. remember we also checked based on the people who we ran into. Because remember, we were searching for people, and then we were guessing like who would be left over. Who was who would oh, who that... didn't who didn't show up? With, who who did we not find during the yeah, sequence? Yeah, the hallway. Like, and alibis. I remember we ran into Lotus. We ran we into found Clover, Lotus and Clover and, and Ace. We, and uh, we didn't run into Ace. I don't. Think. Yeah, we did. Oh, did we? Ace was alone searching the room full of all the doors. That's right. Those are like the three people we ran into, and then we had and with us was a. Uh... Yeah, that that's what it was. Those we saw those three people, and June was with us. So the only people left over. Were seven and Santa, who are the people that match up with this number? Yeah. So maybe seven and Santa killed Snake, or there's something we don't know about. It's probably maybe. something we don't know about. Probably, which obviously, is a bummer. But because still, the, the the leading trap that we're on right now is literally everyone dies. But it's, I'm still troubled by the fact that like this is the group that was willing to argue for like hours at the beginning of the game while progressing zero percent for like two hours at the beginning. Yeah. But they didn't have a long argument about who killed Snake when it seems to be some of two of them did it. Yeah. That's the surprise as they behave that way. Yeah, I think that's why we gave up on it because nobody like we basically it, it were was, in a situation yeah, we where. Were, we, we hypothesized, and we're like, well, obviously they're going to argue about this, right? And then they kind of just didn't. Yeah, we were just like, well, I guess it's not important. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're okay, implying that one of us but is a that's, killer. That's not how it would work either, though, Seven, because, like, me and June were together. And me and June together and Snake can't actually open that door. Yeah. So, like, numbers, that's, the numbers are important here, Seven, because, like, those are the only people that can actually kill people. Yeah. He's just saying no one has an alibi, and there's no story that explains... There's no, there aren't really stories about what people are up to that, that excludes yeah. them from being potentially the people. But yeah, the number number configurations are required. And uh, specifically, June can only do it with Clover. Junpei can't do it with anybody because there's no other five. There's no second five to stack up with to get Snake killed. So, well, remember, multiple people so can do it too. It can be more than one person. Yeah. Well, no, it has to be two people, basically. No. It has to be a matching pair that adds up to ten in order to get Snake through a door. Or it would have to be the majority of all of the people. Yeah. That's an insane idea that everyone, like, half of almost everybody conspired together to kill this guy. That'd be so many people. 
But we do notice that we do know that Lotus was like going around trying to like forge teams and stuff, so it's not completely crazy. But that's yeah. still pointlessly that's still like pointlessly complicated to go all the way up to like uh twenty one in order to kill Snake. You'd have to have numbers that add up to nineteen. That's just a bit much. I don't know, man. It's also a bit much to kill off one player of your match by giving him false information immediately. <laughs> but you know, Zero doesn't give a shit apparently. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? Is he what raising his voice? By being so suspicious. That's what Zero wants, you know. That's why he's like, "Don't be suspicious," because I did it. <laughs> what Zero wants? No, he's probably just actually being playing in character with what he did before. Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. What are these mouth noises you're making? I can I can uh, I can say that because I am zero. <laughs> like you're making so many mouth noises. I think they're picking up on the microphone. Am I making mouth noises? Yeah. Oh, one mouth noises. This, you're making like whatever that sound was. What? Yeah. You don't hear that? You can see it on the waveform. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Uh, that's a little much, Ace. I, I don't really trust you after that line. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... I mean, based on the numbers we just checked, it may be... It's either he's playing some sort of crazy con and he somehow used Nine's bracelet, but I don't even know if that's even... We, we still can't tell if that's a possibility or not. Yeah. Or he genuinely is just being the same, like, like Big Bear that like also did the whole, like, I'm going to drug myself to make this easier for everyone and stuff like that. Like, he's just actually preaching because this is what he... This is just genuine. It could go either way. Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Oh. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game, and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Does it? Hmm. Good question. I feel like there's a reason he's putting all of you here, and I don't think it would be just to kill you himself. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Oh, we chose. Junpei wasn't sure. Of course. Say, of course. But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is... one of us. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be shitting me! That sound effect is great! Who who did that? Who's dong, fucking, dong. Whose name is on the sound design for this game? I swear to God! <laughs> you son of a bitch! That, like, woodblock. Like. <laughs> Clover is not actively freaking out that much, but I guess we missed the part where she actually finds the body. Go what? Not at all. Was he one of them? That's crazy. That's crazy. Isn't the ship going to sink in a few hours? If Zero was here with us, he'd be putting himself in danger. Now if there's a submarine on board. I mean like wait. There's no motive. You don't believe me. <sighs> uh, Clover, I Clover, I understand what you're feeling. You don't feel that you can trust any of us. Why would she? One of the apparent her po possible brother just got murdered by one of us, probably two of yeah. us. Yeah. Which is that's we're down to seven people, so that's like a third of us are murderers. That's a bad. Those are bad odds. Yeah. Those are really bad odds. But you have to understand. The more we distrust one another, the further we fall into our true foe's trap. Zero was the one who did those horrible things to your brother. 
Do you want to let yourself be Dude, that sounds like a way too convenient scapegoat. Thing? Like, it, the way he's playing this it's off- It's really hard not to believe that he's just the murderer the more he talks. Yeah. Like, he's just- right? Because isn't he just like fucking- he's just sitting here scapegoating Zero all day. And he's got a nice big trench coat to hide knives in, <laughs> like- it's, I, that is what you focus on? Yeah. He's got, Ace, he's, what big trench coat you have. Probably got good, All the better to knife you with, my dear. He's probably got good reach. <laughs> I mean, just talking about the feasibility he's of him knifing everybody reach. one by one. Does he need good reach? I mean, it'd be harder for Clover. Well, like, knife everybody. Not if she acts like she's sad and she's like, I just need someone to give me a But, heart. like, all the knifed people are in groups except for Jun and Junpei. Hard to knife a bunch of people. <laughs> well, sh I mean, have you tried it? <laughs> I've stabbed a thing before. Knifing people in this economy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford people. Oh no. Oh no. It's three in the morning. Are you guys tired? Have three hours left. Like, do you guys need an energy drink or a coffee or something? Now. Not Ace. Ace got his nap. Yeah, Ace got a nap. That I was mean. the scheme all along. I doubt you get tired during a nine hour you're going to die thing. You say that, but... They also woke up at the beginning of it. Like, they were asleep already. Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean shit. I wake up tired as fuck. That's your problem. Yeah, I'm tired all the time. You so. also don't really sleep very much, so that's because you did. You wake up too early. Well, look, I don't have much time in my life, alright? Yeah, you're a weird skeleton, man, and time. you're replacing all your bone matter with cigarettes. Time is precious. And cigarettes are precious, and I need to fit those two into the same time. Skeleton key, 2017. Seven. Trademark. Clover. I know how you. Don't feel, try it, Marvel. But you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? We must go. We have very little time left. The so wait was. Destination is Mercury. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, wait, what? no. So we got the Mercury key card, so we're like, oh, we know where to take that. So we're just gonna go there without checking the other rooms now. Oh. And so without checking the other rooms, we're like, we're just dooming ourselves to go to the submarine location. Just all of us this time. Except we probably leave a chunk of them behind at the staircase, because Clover's like, I don't want to go anymore, like she did before. And it just completely skips the next step of doors, because we never we never checked 7 and 8, and then everyone just dies. Uh. Oh, that's the... Yeah, I found it in the shower room. Oh, I see. It's got the Mercury symbol. I don't remember because it looks like Lotus. It's a girl with heart. <laughs> Let's do this joke again. <laughs> looks like there's only two floor buttons working. C and bottom. Time to head down then. Well, I guess we know Santa's a bottom. Did we skip the entire testing phase that happened with June? We just didn't test it. Yeah. Remember how they're like obsessive over it? They're like scared of it. This is a numbered door. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Oh, are they all gonna go in there and then me and- oh. I think they're gonna go forward, and they're like, well, obviously we're gonna leave Jun Junpei behind, because that guy's a prick. And so they're gonna go on without us, and then Junpei's gonna- Junpei and Jun are gonna get murdered by the person, and the submarine ending's, ending's gonna happen. Hmm. No, we still have to go through the we door with Lotus and... In first. Uh... There's two doors down here. We didn't go through the, uh... Remember number yet, we, though, did no, we? Because remember, number door number one was... Over... Well, no, the issue is we went through a door last time, but this yeah. time we're not going to. Yeah, we are. Oh, we are going to. We're going with Lotus and Seven. Oh, this time we don't have a choice. Like, we have to go with Lotus and Seven to yeah. that specific escape room. Yes. Okay. And then they, I guess the exact same scenario ultimately happens at that point, huh? Yeah. Okay. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. And I suppose I need to go too then. There we go. There and, we go. And then, and boom, now we're- ba -da -ba -ba -da. So now we're back on- now we're completely in line with the previous line, yes. then. Okay, please be careful. Everyone got over what happened before, like, really hard. Everyone yep. just totally got over the whole set three thing. Like, I thought the whole 
reason we get stuck with a bad ending was because we like destroy the party by doing what we did. But instead, there's actually like almost no consequence, and it just branches back to the same thing as before. And the part where you get killed by the submarine feels just as arbitrary as it did feel for the first time. It was like, oh, you went in door two? Die. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it felt completely arbitrary the first time and actually went back to doing that this time, which is surprising because here I felt like there was like super clear reason to be fucked this time around. Nope. Jesus. You two are acting like you're married, you know that? Oh. Um. <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. Okay, that was a weird response. <laughs> Don't be silly. Right, I would no. never legally bind myself to another person. <laughs> like, yeah. like, who would say that? Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, now we're literally back on track in the exact Where same the way. Hell is it this time? <laughs> God, immediately. Every time. All right. So, see you guys next time where we check out a different branch because I believe we have fully. Nope. Crap. We're this. not checking back another branch. That's it. We just want to get submarine ending twice. <laughs> now we're done with this forever. Yeah.